Okay, I'm gonna feed uh, Myla here. Myla's 10 days old. She was born at five ounces and she lost weight right away. She wasn't feeding, eating, and um, she dropped down to a little less than three and a half. She's back up to four. And I think in a few days she'll be back to her birth weight. This this particular syringe has been working really well with this nipple. I can she she's not fighting anymore, and I can sort of stick it right in the corner of her mouth. Come on, girl. And then that way, it doesn't go down her throat. And then she can just swallow it when she's ready. So um, I feed her about every two hours, every two and a half hours. Um, like, and she, uh, I'm giving her four milliliters now. I have recently, I gave her five milliliters of feed, feeding, but I'm backing off on that because I was kind of wondering if her stomach was handling it okay. She seemed to take it, but I don't know if it's too much. The vet had said to do one milliliter at every two, every feeding, but that's that didn't seem reasonable to me because the can of for the formula. Excuse me, I gotta be careful here. It's hard to get just a drop, a little bit more than a drop. Yeah, it's a good girl. The formula said to do um, um, 30 milliliters a day for a four ounce puppy. So one milliliter of a feeding every two hours at most, but give you 12 milliliters, that's nothing. And she wasn't gaining weight for a long time. She sort of held steady for several days at three and a half ounces, a little bit less than three and a half ounces. So I still have been increasing the, the feeding as much as I could. The other syringe that I had and the other nipples were maybe a little too big for her and she was really fighting it. And then I got this one and now she seems pretty well. So I'm able to increase the feeding. Um, and now she's gaining weight, so that's great. Now I'm no expert on any of this. It's all new to me. I'm just going by what feels right and, and the results. I'm taking really good notes, writing down every time I feed her, what time, how much she weighs, how much formula I'm giving her. And I, being an engineer, I'm plotting it and everything, and I, I can see that she really does need more than 30 milliliters a day for her to start growing. I'm giving her about last night. I gave her, and the day before I gave her about 38 milliliters, and she ticked up about a half, about a quarter, a quarter ounce each day, so she gained a half an ounce in a couple of days, so I'm hoping she'll get back her ounce that she lost in a couple of days and start growing like her uh, brothers, her brothers are huge compared to her, I'll show you at the end of the video, I can probably grab one. I also her mother's over here but she's nursing the other puppies and here we go try really hard just just gently squirt there we go takes me a while to sometimes it's hard to really just do just a tiny bit sometimes it sticks yeah it's a good girl so i stick it i was reading about stick you know putting it in the corner of their mouth like in the cheek squirting it that way and then that way it just fills their mouth gently and then they can swallow it so that seems to work pretty well but you don't want to I was very scared about asphyxiating her by just uh, injecting fluid into her mouth she can't really suck I, I, I think she has shaking puppy syndrome you can see her shake and her legs are really wide apart and how you balance Come on. Yeah, you go. Oh, I don't see him. I don't see him. Um, I'm going to have... Sometimes her mom comes up here and I have her lick her face. I'm going to take her away for a second and have her mother lick her face for a second. Chloe? There you go. There you go. Good girl. That's it. Okay. We're back. And then I usually use her mother to lick her face when she's done in her belly and under her you know like by her under her tail to kind of stimulate bowel movements and to maybe get rid of gas that she might have in her stomach I just let her lick her for a while 
kind of hold her up. She's so fragile, she gets kind of rolled over. If, if I just leave her there and her mother licks her, she could roll all over the all over the little whelping area. But she was the second born, and she was born right in the middle in terms of weight. I don't really know why she just stopped losing, but um, the first puppy was born, and then this little guy was born two and a half hours later, so it was very scary. She finally came out two and a half hours later, and then um, her, uh, either her sister or her brother, her sister came out five minutes later after her, and then a brother came out. 11 minutes after that and then the next one was like an hour and then like almost an hour so I don't know we maybe we neglected her at first because there was so much happening with the with the firstborn we took the time to, to get him on the nipple and start feeding off his mother but I don't know I'm hoping as she gains weight that maybe the shaking will stop She's definitely not shaking because she's cold. She's very warm. We keep her warm. She's very hydrated. Um, my, my syringe is sticking a little. There we go. Yeah, it's a good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. Let me try to give her a little petting. She's a lot better. The, the last few days, she was just squirming and fighting and... You know, when you get up at 2 in the morning or 4 in the morning to feed her and she's fighting with you, it can be very frustrating. Especially when you had smaller syringes and you had to refill them and everything. But this one works. I like this one a lot. You're getting close so you can kind of see. Come on, girl. Hey, it's a good girl. Come on. Come on. Open up. Come on, girl. Come on, open. There you go. Yep. Get a little wipe down, huh? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how you do here. Let me give that to your nose. Here. There you go. Yes, a good girl. Yes. Whoops. All right. Open up. Uh, maybe I put too much there. Sorry. I don't know. As you start using these syringes, they tend to stick a little. I think it's the way I'm cleaning them out. Maybe the water's too hot or something. Also, the the writing rubs off on all these syringes pretty quickly. So I wrap scotch tape around the numbers. So try to preserve it. Sometimes I use an indelible marker to mark it. I mean, I've already lost where it says five. You can't see it, but I know where it is. Okay. Then come on. Come on, girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. Oops. Yeah, it's a good girl. Come on. I don't know why I'm talking to her. She can't hear me. There you go. There you go. So by little. I've got two and a half milliliters in her. Oh, yeah. So, last time I did this, I weighed her. She was four ounces, just like she is now. I weighed her before the feeding again. She was four ounces. And after the feeding, she was four and an eighth ounce. And uh, four milliliters of liquid is about four grams. I mean, by definition, four milliliters of water is four grams. And four grams weighs about an eighth of an ounce. So I can see, a, you know, that she definitely got stuff in her. So when I'm done with this, I'll throw on the scale and and I'll see that she goes up an eighth of an ounce. But the important thing is later, when I'm not feeding her, that she, her weight goes up. Because that eighth of an ounce is just the fluid I put in her. It's not actually her body weight. There we go. So, we're calling her Mila. We were calling her Gray. I put 
we put colored collars on all of them when they were born, and hers was gray. But since we're since we're thinking and we're hoping she's going to survive, I mean, I think she's going to. So I'm calling her Milagra, Milagro for miracle in Spanish, or just Mila. My wife's Mexican, so Spanish is pretty important to this house. Ben, chiquita, come on. Andale. Look, the huero habla espanol poquito, huh? Okay, here comes the mother. Ben, Chloe, Ben, over here, up. Come on up, come on up. There you go, come join the party. Here, me to lick, lick her little face. There you go, not so hard, don't break her neck, come on. I chew, oh, come on. Okay, 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 okay. That's good, Chloe, that's good, good girl. Here, you wanna lick her belly? Here, let us, whoa, 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 here, hold on. Mita, lick her belly, lick her belly. There you go, there you go. Okay, she does have some in her nose, so we'll have to look at those. Yeah, that's a good dog. Yeah, good girl, Chloe, good girl. You know, her face. Careful, she will, she will, she's not made of solid steel. Okay, hey, sit. Chloe, sit. Okay, <laughs> poor little thing. There you go, a little drop, a couple of drops. Give her a little break. Let her swallow that. The, the puppy shaking syndrome that I think she might have, I mean, I'm no expert, I'm just reading on the internet, it has something to do with some the fat layer is real thin and then there's no insulation for the nerves, electrical insulation. And so the nerves sort of, I guess, in a word, short circuit. So, but hopefully it's not help hurting her involuntary muscles. I mean, her breathing seems fine, and hopefully she can swallow okay. And I'm hoping that she gets. They say it goes away for many dogs when they get older. So after like a month or so, but maybe after she gains weight. I mean, it might stay with her for the rest of her life a little bit. Oh, sorry, that was way too much. Uh, yeah, sorry, girl. Shoot, I'm wasting it. Yeah, it's a good girl. Play. Here you go. There we go. That's good. Thank you. I was thinking that the formula was bad for the mother dog. That was too rich for her or something. But um, the can says to, to put some of the powder in her food to help her with the lactating. But I haven't been doing that. We've been feeding the mother puppy food. And she's been having digestive problems, which kind of gotten good and kind of gotten bad. So, giving her some probiotics and stuff. Oh, there you go. I'm sorry, was that too big of a squirt? Yeah. There you go. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Let's scoot you up. Here you go. Yes. <sighs> the vet, when I took her on day two she told me to give her one milliliter well he he through the assistance told me that to give her one milliliter a feeding so that's only 12 milliliters a day i knew that wasn't enough so i immediately doubled that based on what it says on the can and then the other thing he said was well she's probably gonna die <laughs> thanks dude so that wasn't comforting i know he's just trying to set her expectations but um you know, we're willing to do whatever it takes to help this little guy. After all, we sort of brought her into this world in a way, so we got to do our best. Whoop, too much. This is the one we're going to keep. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, lo siento. I got to give you too much. There you go. Cough it out. Yeah, sorry. Sometimes my hand slips. It sticks and then it does too big of a squirt. I think I need to stick it in her cheek more. That way it doesn't go down her throat or she gag on it. Come on, let's try that again. So 
I'll stick it in there like a cigar and give it a little squirt. There we go. How's that? Isn't that good? Don't spill it. Sometimes she'll start like eating in the air like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, right up your nose. Right up your nose. Doing good. Doing good. I have the towels here because she, sometimes she poops, which is a good good. She poops means she's eating, means she's digesting. So yeah, it's a good girl. Yeah, let me give you a little pet. Calm down. You're almost done, girl. You've almost got four milliliters in you. Here you go, one little squirt. Yeah, well, four milliliters minus whatever you dropped. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, Chloe, come here. Come here, girl. Come on your face. Come on, get that off, get that off. Yes, you have to put it down. You can just look at this like that. Okay, now let's do her belly, okay? Let's do her belly. Come up here. Her belly. All right, you want to do her face? Okay. <laughs> That's some tough love here. Come on. Yeah, a good girl. All right, how about her belly? Come on. Yeah, I need the cola. Oops, let's see. Let's see how it's going around your throat. There you go. There you go. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to weigh her really quickly. And then I'll show you her siblings. Yep. Yep, now she weighs four and what eight, eight ounces. So that was, uh, she has an eighth ounce of, of weight of fluid in her. So, and now I'll show you the, the litter. And you can see her brothers and sisters. Let's see how much smaller she is. And she'll cry when she's off on her own. So I'll stick her with her brothers here and her sister there on the left. And then she'll be all comfy. And she'll be relaxed. Whoops. Well, I guess she's not going to hang around there. She'll find it. Whoops. Uh-oh. Let me go fix that. Oh, well, she's not crying yet. Anyways, that's all. Goodbye, Chloe. Yeah, it's a good girl. You're a good mom.